is your point that there is a kind of reality that you are saying is beyond science, the tools of science that we know now? Uh, I let, me, let me ask Raymond. Raymond, can you move in? Um, just you need to be really right on top of that mic. Great, thanks. Well, I believe at some point science can be very useful at determining a lot of but, this. But I'm gonna, and I'm going to move on because I don't want to belabor this topic. But, but what, what, Sean, but what, Sean, what Sean was saying to you was that you're basically saying it, it, there, there just cannot be any other explanation other than the one that I have, and therefore science really isn't relevant at this point. I think that, uh, si that in my view, this is all about how understanding the, tr the true nature of consciousness uh, soul and spirit has a lot to do with helping to take physics to the next level in terms of understanding. Okay, the thanks, nature Sean, of Sean Carroll. The thing about Einstein, Bohr, de Broglie, etc., the founders of quantum mechanics, is that they're all dead, and they've been dead for many decades. And we know what's going on much better now than we did back then. They were inventing quantum mechanics, and occasionally they toyed with the idea that somehow consciousness had something to do with the fundamental laws of quantum mechanics. Now we know better. We know how the laws of quantum mechanics help explain how electrons move in the brain, and there's take, take, nothing take in there. Take 15 seconds and tell us why quantum mechanics has been brought up by your opponent, why that has relevance here. Well, it's, I can only quote uh, MIT physicist Scott Aronson, who says, as far as he can tell, quantum mechanics is confusing and consciousness is confusing, so maybe they're the same. <laughs> Raymond Moody, let's bring you into the conversation. Um, you know, really, um, I think the in reality what we're dealing with here is not a scientifically decidable issue, but a philosophical question. And what it's called is the mind-body problem, probably first articulated in the West by Pythagoras, but there have been many, many different uh, theories of it. The one that's current in the neurosciences is called epiphenomenalism, which says, in effect, that there is no independent reality to what we experience as consciousness, but it's a secondary byproduct of the primary reality, which is the brain and the electrochemical events going on in the brain. In my opinion, that's a philosophical statement, it really, and my answer is, I don't know. I think the, I think the uh, mind-body problem is still unresolved. All right, let's go to your...